Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. I've been doing some research to verify whether or not Meghan and Harry will be at the Met Gala because we know that some British tabloids, they are not fair in their reports irrespective of the fact that as journalists, you are vowed to be unbiased with your information. But we can definitely see bias against Meghan Markle because we have some of the British tabloids that are reporting that ain't no way Anna Wintour would invite Harry and Meghan. However, I came across one article that was very thorough, very in-depth. And based on that article that was unbiased, I believe Anna Wintour has invited Meghan and Harry to the Met Gala. Now, Anna Wintour, she's British. She has always loved her country, even though she's in California. You know, she's a California girl. She hasn't lost out of touch for England. But it was reported that Anna Wintour admires Meghan Markle's strength and her sense of fashion. She believed that the dress that Meghan Markle picked out was just stunning. And the fact that Meghan Markle walked down the aisle by herself, she believed that that was one of the bravest, strongest things that Meghan Markle has done as a woman in the royal family. And whenever Meghan goes to events, it is said that based on that report, Anna Wintour would always praise Meghan for her sense of fashion, how she gracefully represents herself when she speaks. She speaks with eloquence, beauty, class, fashion. Based on what I'm understanding, Anna Wintour is obsessed with this woman's sense of style. And not just that, they're saying that Harry and Meghan has been invited to all the A-list events so far. So it is for sure that Harry and Meghan will be on the red carpet. Now, some people are saying Anna would never do that because they know that she knows that England will not be happy. So guys, let's be honest, right? England may not be happy if Anna invites Meghan and Harry, but Anna has a job to do. And her job is to bring all the A-list celebrities to that event, especially the ones that are, you know, the top tier. Harry and Meghan is considered to be top tier. Harry is royal. Meghan is married to him. Meghan has always had a celebrity status in Hollywood, right? Now, they may be upset saying that Anna is British, so that is some type of betrayal, but she's in the US. She's hosting um, a US event that really has nothing to do with um, you know, the monarchy. Because if we're really being honest, people are not happy with Charles being king, right? So things are just not the best at the moment when it comes to the royal family. So I believe that people should just focus on what is happening in England as it relates to the royal family who's sitting on that throne because we know that they despise King Charles so much that no one wants to perform at his coronation event. So, Anna needs to focus on, you know, doing her job. And with focusing on doing her job, she's going to ensure that she gets the two buzzing celebrities. Because while it is a bit messy, what is being reported on them somewhat, it's somewhat messy, right? Let's be honest. It's somewhat messy. No one wants to hear, you know, family business out in the streets, but it's there. And I believe that Megan and Harry, you know, are trying to deal with things gracefully, but the monarchy may see differently. So Megan and Harry is trying to do things, you know, with class while being petty. But it doesn't mean that Anna will not invite them to the Met Gala. And, I've said, and as I've said to you guys, based on the article, it was really lengthy, but I went through it thoroughly. They're saying Megan and Ari is going to be at the Met Gala. 
But guess what? If they're going to be there, we will definitely see. If they don't show up, we will know. But guess what? If Megan is going to be there, and Ari, I cannot wait to see what Megan will be. Listen, that red carpet event is going to be super. Everyone is going to be stunning because I'm learning that Anna Winthor is, t is um, keeping away like the content creators, you know, and all those people. She wants, you know, movie stars and such delight, musicians and such delight at the event. A-list people, right? Because they feel as though the red carpet event has been overrun by reality TV, family, content creator, etc., etc. So that's really it. Let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. See you all next time. Bye, guys.